Welcome to Frywall Fridays. Well, it is August. We're a number of months into a global pandemic and I haven't had a decent bar snack in months. So it would be great to make something like beautiful, fried and delicious to go with uh, a beer. So today we're gonna make a Middle Eastern version of cheese sticks. It's gonna be with halloumi, uh, cheese and a bunch of little Middle Eastern delights. Let's get started. So halloumi cheese comes from the Middle East. This one is from Cyprus, and it can be made out of cow, sheep, milk. This is a combination of all three, and it's pretty firm. It's a little bit like uh, mozzarella. Um, it could be a little bit uh, chewy, but it's perfectly salty. And the nice thing about this is when we fry it up, unless we really go overboard, it is not going to melt. So we're gonna dredge that in <clears throat> um, garbanzo or chickpea flour to give it a little bit of nice Middle Eastern kind of umami flavor and za'atar, which is a Middle Eastern herb uh, blend. If you don't have za'atar, we'll give you some substitutes for that. And then for a sauce on top, we have some Greek yogurt, which we are going to spike with some lemon zest, some harissa, which is again a Middle Eastern hot sauce. And then we're gonna to top all of that off with some nice freshly chopped mint. All right, let's cut the cheese. We're gonna want French fries size pieces. So I'm gonna cut the halloumi in half this way and then slice it into basically French fries size little wedges, just like that. Now, we have to cut the cheese right in the middle. That's gonna dictate the, 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 the thickness of, of it to some extent. For the dredging, we have about three quarters cup of chickpea flour here. And I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of za'atar. Now, if you don't have za'atar, uh, you can use a couple tablespoons of thyme and a ta uh, tablespoon or so of um, sesame seeds and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're not gonna add salt here because there's already some in the za'atar and the halloumi cheese is also uh, pretty salty. Give that a little mix. We're ready to dredge. Just get all the pieces of the halloumi in there and coat them all evenly. Make sure that all the sides of the halloumi have some of the coating. This is really gonna add a beautiful flavor, as well as bring crispiness to the, these little fries. We have these all battered. We're gonna set them aside for a minute while we get the topping ready. For the dipping sauce, I have about three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt, and to that, I'm gonna add some lemon zest. Just scrape that right in there. We're gonna use about half of the lemon zest. And next, I'm gonna add some harissa. This is Northern uh, African uh, chili paste. If you don't have harissa, that's fine. You can use um, any kind of hot sauce that you like. Sriracha will work well. And you got a good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. You can add more or less depending on your taste buds and give that a swirl. And I'm actually not gonna mix it 100%, I'm gonna leave that a little bit mottled like that. And finally, I'm going to finally chop some uh, mint, which we're gonna sprinkle on top at the very end. Uh, give it some nice freshness and brightness. Okay, let's get frying. We have the oil around 350 degrees and we'll go ahead and get these in. We're gonna cook them for about three minutes or so until they're golden brown. Have about half of the fries in there. I don't want to crowd the pan. When they're nice and golden brown all the way around like this, they are ready to come out. 
All right, we're ready to get these things dressed up. I wish you could smell these things. They don't smell like typical fried food. I think it's mainly the za'atar. It really smells like some kind of outdoor Mediterranean kitchen in the springtime. Just really kind of herbaceous and lovely. I'm gonna put this in this nice little crock here. I have a few left over. I'm sure the chef will be happy about that. And we will top it with a little bit of the sauce right on top like that. We also have more of the sauce here on the side. And we're gonna sprinkle some mint on top as well. Just like that. All right, there you go. You know, no bars for a while, but I think you'll have one of these with a nice brewski outside. And for a moment, you won't miss it. Enjoy.